Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! Today on Mr. Nurse, we're going to talk about the flu vaccination and why you should or should not get it. Let's talk about it today on Mr. Nurse. Welcome to Mr. Nurse. Today we're going to talk about the flu vaccination, also known as the flu shot, which I think is a stupid name, considering, actually, they are shooting you with the flu, so maybe it's not such a stupid name. Well, whatever the case may be, the flu shot, why you should or shouldn't get it. First, let's talk about what the flu shot is. So what the flu shot is, is the World Health Organization's best guess at the flu virus that you're gonna get infected with. So what they do is they study to see which one is the most prevalent strain on the other side of the planet. They take that virus, break it down, and give you a dead form in the flu shot. And what that's supposed to do is help your body develop antibiotics, and antibiotics, antibodies to that specific flu strain or anything that's kind of similar to it, preventing you from getting the flu. Now, does it work all the time? No. But let's talk about some myths out there when it comes to the flu shot. First one I always hear is that I don't want to take the flu shot because I got the flu last time I took the flu shot. Like I took the flu shot and the next day I had the flu. So let's talk about that. Now you may develop a slight fever from getting the flu shot because again it is something alien being injected into your body. Injected into your body. Injected into your body. But besides that, you really shouldn't have any other symptoms besides possibly being a little sore at the site where you got the shot. Now, in order for you to actually develop the antibodies, it takes several weeks after you take the shot. So if you got sick on the weekend that you got the shot or the week after you got the shot, chances are is oh, chances are that your body didn't develop the antibodies to actually protect you from the virus. So now, the second thing that I hear is that um, I don't need the flu shot because I'm healthy. Now let's talk about that, because that's where I think that we differ. Now it may be true that you do not get the flu because you are super healthy or you have a super strong immune system, but there's more to it. You may get the flu and your body fights it off so you're not really symptomatic, but while you do have the virus in your system, you do pass it on to other people. So now what that means is that you have a greater risk of infecting other people around you. Now, as we all know, calling in sick isn't as easy as it should be. I mean, a lot of times when you're sick, your employer still wants you to come in or wants you to bring a doctor's note, and they make it almost impossible for you to call in sick. But that's a whole nother topic. Um, but the problem is, is that we all go back into society carrying the viruses, even when you're a little sick. So now, that brings you to the greater good argument of vaccinations, even when it comes to regular vaccinations. And don't get me started on that. Should you get vaccinated? Yes. Don't be stupid. But going back to the flu shot. So now herd vaccin or herd vaccinations or herd vaccinating. Um, the concept is basically, and I think I'm saying it right, is that you vaccinate the whole society so there's less possibilities of people actually getting the virus. And this in sense protects everybody because just or just because you can handle the virus well, it doesn't mean that everyone around you can. We do have a lot of people in our society, society, uh, for example, the elderly, immune compromised individuals that possibly may have cancer or other 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 autoimmune diseases. So, with that being said, you should do the right thing and get the flu shot or the flu vaccination, influenza vaccination, whatever you want to call it because it's not yourself or it's not only yourself that you're protecting you're also protecting everyone else out there because it is a fact that you can die from the flu you can also die from things associated with the flu for example such things as pneumonia so do the right thing and get your flu shot until we meet again i am mr nurse remember to wash your hands which is actually the number one deterrent of getting sick. Cover your mouth when you cough. 
Do good, be good. I am Mr. Nurse, and I'm out. Peace. I hope this video came out good. You know, it's the third time I've recorded this just because I kept on messing up the volumes. Not fun. And this time I didn't even fix the background.